Twelve days after J.Y. Lee, South Korea's most powerful business figure, was taken into detention, he faces the prospect of many months in a cell, awaiting trial for bribery, embezzlement and perjury. On the last day of their sprawling investigation into South Korea's presidential scandal, special prosecutors named Lee among 17 people to be newly indicted. The prosecutor's spokesman said Lee, along with four other senior executives, would be indicted on charges, including bribery, aggravated economic crime, embezzlement, hiding money in properties abroad, and concealment of criminal proceeds. Lee and his fellow executives are accused of approving payments of $36 million to foundations and companies linked to Choi Sun Sil to win government backing for a crucial merger. Choi, a longtime friend of the president, is currently on trial for bribery, coercion and abuse of power. Samsung Electronics says it made the payments but calls accusations of bribery, quote, groundless. And it's announced the disbanding of its future strategy office, which, combined with complex cross-shareholdings, has allowed the founding family to control the giant conglomerate, or Chebol. It says Samsung affiliates will now run autonomously. Until now, their power has been strictly limited. Those kind of limitations are not imposed by the uh, legal or corporate law kind of thing. It is imposed by the kind of un unofficial cultural thing called the Chebol. This all matters so much here because Samsung matters so much to the national economy. Its electronics division accounts for about 20% of South Korea's exports. In the past, J.Y. Lee's father was granted a presidential pardon after being convicted of a financial crime in the national interest. Even though impeached, the current president, Park Geun-hye, continues to enjoy immunity from prosecution. Special prosecutors instead booked her as a suspect, detailing her conversations with J.Y. Lee. If her impeachment is confirmed by the Constitutional Court due to rule within the next two weeks, she too could be charged. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Seoul.